How you doing? What's up? Give you some information. Take it. I'll take mine. There you go. I, yeah. Just out of curiosity, like, what what good do you think you guys are doing here? What good are we doing? Yes, sir. We're doing what God's word says we are to do in Ephesians 5:11. We are to expose the wicked works of darkness and have nothing to do with them. The high school students. Like there's a community college down that way. Yeah, we'll get there too. Okay. okay. I'm Catholic. I'm I'm anti-abortion, but I, I don't think these obscene images. So what what does your anti-abortion look like? You have a good moral opinion. Is that what is that what it, you know what you know we we ask people what does your Christianity you guys Christians? No. no. Okay. We ask people what does your Christianity look like in a culture that murders over 3,000 people every day, okay? See, a lot of people say, like you said, oh, I'm against this. A lot of people say that. Oh, I'm pro-life. And we ask them, what does that look like? Is it a good moral opinion? Which it is, all right? But that's not what God's Word says, that we're to have a good moral opinion. What God's Word says, we are supposed to f rescue those being led to the slaughter, expose the deeds of darkness. And to be out in front of a high school, <clears throat> we're out in front of a high school because we stand down at the clinics. Hey, what about that? And it's not just, what about it? That's what people do when they don't have access to... No, that's not what they do. That's not what they do. But that's a, a, a pro-choice tagline. Okay. No, what they do is they go to doctors who don't really care and they get abortions they don't do this all right this is a propaganda this is what this is to do this is truth that's why it's called you've been lied to and this is going to tell you the truth because that's what God's Word demands is that we say tell you the truth that's what Jesus is he is the way he is the truth he is the life and it is the truth that sets you free or it is the truth that condemns you you know back in in the 40s it used to be legal my friend has a sign over there to kill Jews. It was legal. Just like it's legal here to kill children. Back in the 1800s, it used to be legal to own African Americans. And, uh, I, I'm not arguing with any of your statements. Right. It, and you have every right to be here. This is school property, however, you are on the sidewalk, so we are only required to maintain it according to public law. But my argument is that I'm not sure this is doing it. What, what, what's your opinion on the Westboro Baptist Church? Just out of curiosity. Westboro Baptist Church is heretics, but that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. Okay? I, we're exposing darkness. One out of three, whether you want to think so or not, one out of three of the females that are in this school, the community college you wanted to talk about, the church will kill their children and they'll kill them this way they won't kill them you know any other way they'll they'll kill them this way not by people going into schools with guns not by terrorists flying bombs into buildings they pay people to kill their children we stand out at these mills all right you might think this is the wrong place. Oh, high school kids. We were just at Independence High School for the last few weeks. Yeah, no, I and we heard... Huh? I heard you were at Frisco earlier. Frisco, yeah. And we're told by students... And this is, the, this is the thinking of the student body. We're told by students... Oh, we have mostly Indians here. People don't kill their children. You should go to another school. That is what we're, that's what, that's what they tell us, okay? So we're here to tell you whether you are white, you are black, you are Asian, you are Indian, whatever. Is that Frisco that said that? No, that was Independence High School. Do you really uh, feel like the most yeah. effective means by which to portray that opinion? What's that? Do you feel as though this is the most effective means by which to protect? Actually, actually, it would be more effective if we could come in, but we cannot come in and speak to people and tell them the truth. I, I'm not sure how, how well 13, 14 year olds will respond to this obscenity rather than to... Well, probably the same way that 13 and 14 year olds that kill their children respond.
state with a parent's permission, you could be seven. Then why aren't you uh, protesting to the parents? Yeah, the we are. Well, who do you think is dropping all these students off to? Okay. And this isn't all we do. We don't come just and stand out at the school. Okay. We go to the town squares. We go to the churches on Sundays. Because, unfortunately, according to Planned Parenthood's own statistics, 68% of the people that kill their children in Planned Parenthood are church-going Christians. Okay? So we are doing what God's Word has demanded. And His Word, Jesus Christ Himself said, that whatever you do to the least of these, my children, you have done this unto me. And whatever you do not do to the least of these, my children, you do not do this to me. Okay? See, that's the problem. A lot of people like to say they're Christians or they're Catholics or whatever, and they like to just grab a little piece and then use their opinion to form their own God. You can't do that. That's called idolatry. You have to take God at his word or you deny God at his word. That's what Jesus said. You're either for me or you're against me. And if you're for me, why don't you do as I command? And that's all we're here to do. We're here to shine a light because unfortunately your school would like to keep this quiet. All the pro-choicers in your school would like to keep this quiet. But this is what happens. And it happens over 3,000 times every day. I'm fully aware of that, and I'm confident enough to realize that this is going on, but children at this school know this. They don't need to be... You keep saying children. You keep saying children. Yes, sir, because that children, is they are. Children that murder their children. Let's talk realistically. You know, I'm a very blunt person. I'm a very forthright person. I'm not as, like my friend Todd over there with the, the one that's holding the signs, he's like, he's like sugar, he's like sweet, okay? I'm very blunt, all right? That's just the way I am. I'm from New York and I'm Italian. So I say it as it is, okay? God's word says that we are to rescue those being led to the slaughter. And if you think that what we're doing here is useless, you're wrong. We get the emails from the students who are too afraid to say anything but will actually write us and say, thank you for being there. I was going to have an abortion next week. I don't, don't think it's show useless. Those, hmm? I, I don't think it's I, I think, think it's, it's actually, detrimental. Yeah, it's actually less than useless. Okay, what did, what did at the end of World War II, when they liberated Dachau, General Eisenhower, General Patton, and General Bradley, what was the first thing that they did? Do you want to know? Sure. So you're not going to learn this stuff in school. The first thing that they did was they grabbed everybody in the surrounding towns and they made them walk by every one of the dead bodies inside Dachau. And then after they walked by them, they made them bury them. Because people like to say, oh, well, yeah, this is really bad, but, you know, I don't have to look at it. I don't have to see it. I don't have to deal with it. I'm not getting one, so I'm okay. But the truth of the matter is, if somebody would come to take you away to death, I would stand for your right to live. And every one of these children is created in the image of God, by the hand of God, with a plan and a purpose from God. And every one of these children is a life at creation. That's science and the Bible. That's not just my opinion. Okay? So what we're saying is, these people are worthy of life. Just like back in the 1800s, we would have said African Americans are worthy of life. And believe me, the Christian abolitionists that stood up against slavery were hated just as much as the Christians who are standing up against this. I don't see your, the validity in your historical illusions. I, My historical illusions? Illusions with, with an A. a. Oh, okay. Thank no, you. Not as a, yeah, it's correct. Um, yeah, I, I realize we as a group of students can't force you to get off here. And I, I see and, that you... And this is the pro-life one that's actually standing here validating why he really would rather us not be out here. That is the problem with people who have a good moral opinion. Okay? Now, like I said, if they were coming to take you away, or if they were coming to take you away, or they were coming to take you away, I would stand up and say no. Okay? 
I would not stand here and say, you know, well, you could say no, and you know, you can because it's the sidewalk, but don't come on here because, you know, you really, there's children here. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah. I hate to tell you, but the children here are killing their children too. And this is sort of a redundant argument. A redundant argument? How's that? It, it, we're talking ourselves in circles, and I'm, all I'm saying is people are free to have their opinion just as you are. Right, so you're not really pro-life. You're pro-life as long as for you. But, you know, if she wants to kill somebody, then, you know, everybody has their opinion. See, me, I don't think it's a good opinion that you think it's okay that she can kill people. That would be like saying, well, you know, if you think that my opinion is okay, then if I think I should be able to punch you in the nose, then, you know, that's my opinion. I should be allowed to do that. Wait, are you saying this, like, morally, or is it like a government? Uh, like, do you think there should be yeah, laws against it? This should be illegal, all right? And to show you just how bad it is, we had a bill in the, the legislature here in Texas. In Texas, over 60,000 babies are murdered every year in pro-life Christian Texas, okay? We had a bill to abolish abortion in the legislature, HB 948. We had a big rally for it. We had nine legislators who stood up for it. And the church, the church, where there's over 60,000 just pastors, not talking about the hundreds of thousands of Christians in the state of Texas, not even a thousand people showed up to support these guys. Because unfortunately, the church is also okay with this. They might not say it. They might say, I'm okay with this as long as, you know, you have a reason. Would you like one? You don't have to take one. Not right now. Okay. All right. But if you are for Jesus, then you will obey what he says. Okay. Now, morally, what's that? What does he say specifically about abortion or about anything life? God's word is very... All right. God bless you. Thank you guys for staying and talking. God's word says, thou shalt not kill. Yes. Okay. That is murder. Okay. It is unrighteous killing. Now, there is righteous killing in the Bible. Okay. But this is not righteous killing. And in fact, when they were ch sacrificing children to Molech, he wiped out entire nations. He wiped out entire people who were sacrificing their children. For their own blessing and that's basically what we're doing today we're sacrificing children on the altar of self yeah but there are certainly there are times when it's healthier for the mother to have the abortion than it is to let the child carry it so that's like saying it's healthier for you if i kill her no yeah it, yeah she's she's already there Oh, so, so what you're saying then is you, you're not a racist, you're an ageist. You think it's okay to kill people as long as they are at a certain age. That's called no. ageism. No, she's already here. She's right, she's already friend. here. She's already she's your been friend. alive. She's, oh, she's, oh, she's, these she's babies are alive baby. from conception, according to science and the Bible. She, yes, but there are times when the... I'm sorry, my school's like when that. When the mother has... What's that? When the mother sorry, school's like is that. like... They're playing baby. When baby. having the child would be harmful to both the mother and the child. Do so. you know who C. Everett Koop is? No. Okay, C. Everett Koop was the Surgeon General of the United States. Who's like, that's like, like the top doctor for the government. C. Everett Koop was also a pediatrician and an obstetrician. He was the Surgeon General. And he said in all his years of practice, he never saw one woman whose life was in danger if she had her child, okay? It's another one of the pro-choice myths. And the way we deal with that is, well, if you have eclampsia or if you have um, hypertension or if you have something like that, well, we treat you both. We don't say, well, you know, poor you, let's kill your baby. We say you're a life and your baby is a life. So we treat you both as equal individuals. Now, if the baby dies, that's an act of God. 
okay? But I didn't kill a baby. You didn't kill a baby. But that's not the way they treat it here, okay? In this country, you can kill your baby up to the day of birth. If you have two doctors who say, well, she's depressed, she's suicidal, so they will kill the baby. That is what life of the mother looks like in this country, okay? And we're here to say that it is never okay to kill a baby. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, because I know you guys got to get to class, I'm gonna leave you with a, an exercise, okay? When I was in high school, I used to look at the clock. It's like, when is the clock gonna ring? When is the bell gonna ring? Okay. Okay. Well, every time you look at the clock and every time that little hand goes one minute, know that two babies just died. That's the rate in this country that we murder children. Two every minute of every hour of every day. Doesn't stop on Sunday. Doesn't stop on Mother's Day. Doesn't stop on Easter. Doesn't stop on Christi Christmas. We think Hitler is a bad guy because he killed 11 million people. We have killed over 60 million babies in this country since Roe v. Wade passed in 1973. Jesus said, it is the truth that will set you free. But unfortunately for many, it will also be the truth that will condemn them because you will never be able to say you didn't know. And my conscience is clear because I told you the truth. Now what you do with it, that's up to you. But I really appreciate you guys coming and stopping and talking with us. Because that's what adults do. They don't do like what you, okay? And run, drive by and curse you out and flip you off. That's what cowards do. Those are the same people we see down killing their children. And did you know also that you can go to Walmart, you can go to Walgreens, and you can buy yourself an abortion for $49.95. That is where we're at today. See those 3,000 a day? We don't count those because those are chemical abortions. Even the babies that are killed in the, the abortion clinics that are killed with RU486, we don't count those. Those 3,000, that's just surgical abortions. Mm -hmm. That's just that. Hmm? Thank you. My name's Matt, by the way. Miranda. Miranda? Daniel. Daniel, here, let me give you. Find us on Facebook. We're the Abolition Society of Little Elm. We hit all the schools in Little Elm and Frisco. All right. All right. God bless you guys, and you have a good day. God bless you.